So I believe that I can not only backlift this rail, but let me tell you how I know that I can not only backlift this rail, okay? I, I have this six skateboard. I got these shoes. I got this rad helmet. And I actually know exactly how to do a nollie backlift, okay? So essentially, you just like roll up at it with the rail behind you. You pop off the nose, you kind of turn your, your hips a little bit, you lock onto the rail, you slide off the end, turn your hips back and just land clean and roll away, right? So I believe that I can nollie backlift this rail. But is that worth anything if I never actually try it? Is there any way to know for sure that my belief that I can do this is real? Like, where's the proof? If I, if I truly believe that I can do this, then I should try it, right? Well, when I was 15 years old, I was asked, how do you know if you are a Christian? And I said, yeah, I know that I'm a Christian because I believe in Jesus. And they said, well, how do you know if that is really real? Like, where's the proof? In Isaiah 29, 13, God says, these people come near to me with their mouth, they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. So in this week's Bible study on James chapter two, verse 14 through 26, James points out that faith without actions is dead. In other words, the kind of faith that says, I believe in God, but has no actions to prove it is not real faith. It's not worth anything. James says that even the demons believe in this way and they shudder and they tremble because their knowledge of God isn't going to save them. We are saved by faith. We are trusting in Jesus and it, it's really only real faith if it produces actions, if it causes you to live differently, live the way that Jesus lived. So in the book of James chapter 2 where we're reading this week, he gives three examples. He says, Suppose somebody is without clothes or food. Then he gives another example from the story of Abraham and another example from Rahab. Your small group's gonna dive into this a little bit deeper, but each example shows how faith without action is really dead, it's worthless. If it is real faith, if it's true faith that has saved you, I wanna challenge you to act like it. You should be following Jesus. You should be obeying his word. The fruit of the Holy Spirit should just be flowing out of your life naturally. Love and joy and peace and patience and goodness and gentleness and faithfulness and kindness and self-control. All those things should be evident in your life. You should be excited to share about the incredible love and hope and joy that you have found in Jesus. That's what real faith looks like. There's proof that it's active. If there are no actions to really back it up, that kind of faith is worthless. It's dead. And it won't save you. You're not a Christian. You're not a disciple of Jesus. Those things aren't true about you if you have no actions to back it up. So I want to challenge you this week to dig in and really consider this. Look at your actions. Look at your life. Does it show proof of your faith in Jesus? Does it really, does your faith move you to take action?